I I made it up, I made it up I've been around, I hustled up I made it up, I made it up I've been around, I hustled up I hustled up she needs to face down is to allow her to be able to breathe throughout the treatment she's gonna take that um, towel over there cover herself with and then the blanket to cover herself with as well just to keep her warm All but right. for her to be able to do that you and I need to leave the room for her to get ready and lie on the bed and cover herself once she's done we'll come back in a minute or two so we can start with our training All right. okay. No okay Maria are, are you comfortable yeah. Are you comfortable? Okay. Yeah. okay, so Joseph, you're going to take this blanket, cover, her, cover Maria with it. Okay. Make sure that every part of her body is it's properly covered. covered. Her hands must be on the sides of the bed, so she's as comfortable as possible. Because the treatment we're about to do is an hour treatment. Let me tuck it in. Just okay. a bit over there. Okay. Are you still comfortable, Maria? I'm comfortable. Yeah. Okay. So the first, first thing you're going to do is you have to use the oil that's on your hand to spread it on her back for you to be able to massage throughout the entire treatment. All right, so I don't... Yes, yes, just spread it. Spread the oil, spread it, spread it. It's perfect. Yeah. Okay. And then what part would you like me to focus on? The raw back. The raw back. Oh, okay. on your lower back and on your shoulders mm -hmm. and if you're always driving but if you're always standing you usually carry your, your, your tension on your legs okay. so you need to make sure that you work into those muscles you must work in into those muscles ladies and gentlemen welcome to the new episode of hustled out Today I'm so excited, I'm with a very beautiful, gorgeous lady, uh, Antoinette Sitole. She is the owner of Refumo Boutique Spa in Nelspruit, Bombella. Today we'll, she'll be telling us about a journey, about a story. I can't wait to hear that. Now, uh, walking in here, we've been through, she's got a very gorgeous place, a very, very gorgeous place, the most beautiful, I've ever seen in my entire life. Ladies and gentlemen, join me as I welcome Her Royal Highness, Miss Antoinette de Fumo Sambona. Sambona. Wow, 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 wow. Tell me, what, how, did you, how did you come up with all this? Like, this is so beautiful. Um, how did I come up with it? Okay. I was actually supposed to stay here. In this building? Yes, hmm. in this very same building. But because I figured that what's the point of staying in a very big house all by yourself? Yeah. And I used to operate mobile. When I actually launched my spa, I launched it as a mobile spa. And I decided maybe it's time I have an actual spa. And then that's when I decided that I'm going to renovate this, invent it, change it completely into a spa. And then I started working on it. It took forever. It's been four years and... It's been four I, years, you've been running this for four years. Yes, I've been in this exact same building for four years now. But if I tell you now that, you know, the renovations, like they just keep going on and on. There's always something that you want to change, you understand? Yeah, as a for the place to look as welcoming as possible, more relaxing, more welcoming, and yeah. 
And then I'm seeing the decorations and everything is on point. Who's idea? Who does your interior decor? Who does... I do everything myself. Hmm. Okay. So I'm always looking up for new ideas. You know, I'm always, like I said, I'm always looking up for new ideas. I always want this place to look, like I said, I want it to be as welcoming as possible. Wow. And um, let me put it like this. Rifuma Boutique Spa is the first black owned boutique spa in Bombella. Po, 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 po. So, <laughs> I want it to be the most, <laughs> I, I want to, because it's the first black owned boutique spa in Bombella, I just want to maintain That's that level, weird. that standard of it being a boutique spa, black owned by a young woman. I'm 32. Wow. Yes, yeah, so I just want to maintain that. I want to look, I want it to look as beautiful as possible, to be as welcoming as possible, to be re as relaxing as possible. It's secluded. That's the one thing I love about it. Okay. Yeah. It's far away from town. Yeah. It's relaxing. It's yeah. quiet. Yeah. And I think ever since you got here, yeah, besides us, there's, there's no, no one else that has been irritating us or making noise. Do you understand? So, yeah. Tell me, you mentioned first black owned boutique spa. Yeah. What is the difference between a boutique spa and a spa? What is, is it? It's, I don't think there's much of a difference or there isn't much of a difference. At the end of the day, I think it's about how you... The class. Yes, we can say the class and how you name the spa at the end of the day. Oh. Some name them day spa, some name them just... Some would say a reformer spa, mm. some would say a reformer day, day spa. spa. Some would say a reform of beauty spa. You understand? Yeah. I think it's the the boutique level. I think it's it's. Is the mabosin? Is there? It's the standard. Is the class. <laughs> so, yeah. <laughs> all right. All so right, that's right. what I'm saying. I'm trying to change things every single day because I try. I want to try and maintain the name. It being a boutique, boutique spa. spa. Tell me. Uh, starting your, your, what's it called? Your business. business. Okay. Did you, how did you gather funds? How did you, I mean, I'm sure this is not, this, I'm sure it's a couple of millions to put all this together. How did you get, did you um, get funds from somewhere or what? No, it wasn't funded. Like I said, I was supposed to stay in the house. I got this building from auction uh -oh. and it was like a giveaway. And I'm like, uh -oh. okay, well then why not? But like I said, I was supposed to stay here. Then the actual idea was not for me to come and open up a business. It no. was for me to come and stay here. Then you... But yeah, and with the help of my family, I've got a very supportive family. Everything, like, okay, for instance, if I want to do something, I run it through my family and we support each other. I've got two elder sisters. If they are financially, if they are able to help financially, they do they... help here and there, my mother, my dad. That's so with the help good. of my family, anything so is possible, yes. Any, like doable. Wow, wow, wow. Ladies and gentlemen, uh, once again, uh, Miss Antoinette Sitole, uh, we're going on a short break right now. See you later. Don't touch the dial. Welcome back, ladies and gentlemen. Uh, once again, we're here with uh, Miss Antoinette Sitole of Rifumo Boutique Spa. Rifumo, where did the name Rifumo come from? I named the spa after my daughter. Okay. Her name is Rifumo. What does Rifumo mean? It means wealth. Wealth. Hmm, that's nice. What language is that? That's uh, Tsonga. Tsonga. Oh, are you Tsonga? Yes, I'm Tsonga. You're from Bushpark Ridge? Yes. In Tulamahashi, to be exact. Wow. I was born and bred in Tulamahashi, and then about 13 years ago, my parents decided to move to Kamsbewa in White River. And then we had to all move as a family, but yeah. Oh, that's good. So, you, you mentioned about uh, when you started this, it was supposed to be a mobile. Yes, a mobile I launched it as a mobile store. When spa. I actually launched my business, I launched it as a mobile store. Good. Then you moved, you made it, you started to make it a boutique spa. Now, uh, did you go to school for this or something? Yes, I did. Oh, okay. I studied beauty for three years in face-to-face. -face okay. Beauty and makeup design school, which is located in Joburg, part okay. town. And then after that, I worked for a family business for about two to three years, and I then decided that uh -oh. I'm done. You're going back to... I want to follow my dream. I want to do what I've started for. And then I applied for a job to go and work abroad. 
As a beautician. As a beautician. Okay. Applied, um, went for an interview. My interview was successful and went for training in Cape Town for about three months. Okay. From there, I was placed and I was working on a cruise ship for a year. Um, our home port was Miami in Florida. So I stayed, I worked on a cruise ship for a year. Wow. So the whole idea <laughs> of going to work abroad was for the experience. The, um, you know, was the experience. Because I was working with different races. Yes, you know, I was yes, working on a cruise ship. Yes. So new people every day, different races, different Types and classes staff members. People. So every single week would have a new board member, staff member. So the, it wasn't a situation whereby I would say I'm working with no Tando for a good two years. So every second week I'd have... So that taught you people's relation, how yes, to relate to different types of people. How to relate to different from. types of people, how to work under pressure. Because I used to work from 8 o'clock in the morning to 9 o'clock at night. Sometimes 7.30 in the morning until 10 o'clock, depending on how busy it is in the cruise ship. Yes, it was really, really hectic. It was intense, but... It taught you a good lesson. It, yeah, like it, it taught did. you a lot. It, it taught me a lot. I wouldn't be where I am today if it wasn't for, for, the, experience. for the experience that I got when I was abroad. When I came home from the U.S., I decided I'm going to launch a mobile spa. The reason why I wanted to work mobile was for me to be able to accommodate everyone else that doesn't really have time to themselves to go to the spas. You understand? Most of the spas close around 5, 6, and they close around 5 or 6 o'clock. And some people knock off at 5. So 5 there's 30, no time and to And there's go. no time for you to, still, to say, I'm going to go to the spa. Come weekend, you want to spend time with family. Mm. So there isn't really time. So I wanted to be there for, I wanted to, you know, fill up the gap The gap that was there. And I operated mobile for, I think, about a year. And then... You decided to make it. And then there was a place called Dream South. I think most of you know the Dream place. South. Dream oh, South. Yes, yes, by Valencia. When, yes, by Valencia. So when the place opened, they wanted someone who can run a spa in their building. And then a lot of people approached me. I'm like, why don't you go there? Why don't you go there? And I went. I worked there. I worked from there for six months. And after six months, I'm like, you know what? It I'm going on my own. now. I don't want to work under anyone in anyone's building and whatsoever. Though that's where I built most of my clientele. So when I left Dream South, I had already, you know, built a good clientele for myself. Um, but besides, I built a lot of clientele. I had, I got a lot of, lot of, lot of clients when I was still operating mobile, you know, and, and when I was working from, from Dream South, yeah. So I opened here in 2016. In this, this building? Exact same building. Yes, I opened here 2016. Now we are in 2020. So this is okay. our fourth year. So when you, opened, when you opened here, right? Mm -hmm. Obvi okay, obviously you've been running as a boutique, you ran as a boutique spa. As, as you worked with, uh, at Dreams Out as well. Yes. But now, how did you now break into the market as yourself, as, not as Dreams Out now, not as... Now as, yes. Now as Reformo Boutique Spa, that is... I had to relaunch. So we launched twice. The first time I launched, I launched as Reformer Mobile Spa. Yes. And then when we moved to come and work here, we had to mm -hmm. launch again. So we relaunched it as a Reformer Boutique Spa. Oh. And then what I did is when I invited people to come and see what I'm all about, what Reformer Boutique Spa is all about, I invited people that I thought there could be a client. They, they could be. Uh, they could be my clients. Hmm. You understand? I didn't just invite Any Jack my and friends Jill. just because they're my friends, they can, so they can, can just celebrate the success with me. I, in, I, I invited people that I see working potential. with, uh, yeah, potential clients and so forth and so forth. But it was really difficult at first. Like I said, this place is secluded. It's secluded. It's on the side. It's in a residential area, so it was really difficult for people to know about it and. But we mostly, I, I depended on people's referrals, word yes, of mouth. Yes. I believe word of mouth is the best. It works. It's, it's the best marketing tool. And I, 
yeah, I relied on that and we relied on social media, of which it worked here and there, though it wasn't good enough. Social media? It wasn't good enough. And because again, it's not really, you know, for instance, how would you want to support a business you've never heard of? Yes, that's true. The name itself was something completely different. Most of the spas are like English names yeah. and, you know. Angelic. Yes. So mm. I came with a random name. Like I said, I named it after my daughter. And there's this girl who has never stayed in Niles Parade. And all of a sudden, she wants to open a business. I didn't know a lot of people. So it was, it, was really, it was really difficult at first, but I told myself I'm not giving up. That first year was really, really difficult, I'm not going to lie. We would go a week with, we would go about three to four days without clients. And at the end of the day, you know, you've got therapists that you need to pay. Mm. And so what I did then, I juggled around working for the family business again um, and the spa. So... so the salary that I got on the other side can support the can support the spa, which worked. And then eventually I stopped completely to come and work here full time. And I must say, right now the spa is fully functional on its own. We do not depend on any <laughs> other source of income <laughs> to help us, you know, maintain it. It's fully functional. Um, target market. We don't have any target market, I must say. We welcome each and every person. We are not, we don't work with people like Joseph because Joseph's got money and, 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 and. Our clients are from kids. We accommodate kids from the age of two. We've got kids that come because we host pampa parties. Yes. We've got kiddies massages. Ooh. So. Let me stop here. That was a picture I saw on Facebook. It was some kids, like, I don't know, it was some kids uh, party. Yes. And then they were all dressed up. And yes. I think they had champagne glasses. Yes, so they like, had champagne glasses. Yo, that was amazing. And everything. So we accommodate kids from as little as, you know, two girls and boys to whoever, whoever wants to come to this bar, we allow them because at the end of the day, it doesn't matter whether you're the president or you're two years old, the um, same amount of money you pay is the same. Is the same. There's no staff it, price. It, there's no staff price. <laughs> it, it doesn't change. So it's the same thing. All right, all right, all right, all right. So now, when, we were, when you were taking me through the old process, right, mm -hmm. you mentioned some things about clients suing. If you do something wrong, clients can sue you. Have you ever been sued by any clients? No, we haven't. Hence, I said to you, I tried explaining when we're still in the treatment room that it's very important for clients to fill in consultation cards. That is something that I came with from, um, it's something that we're taught from college. Okay. You um, it's something that we're taught from college that is meant for protecting, like I said, to protect yeah. myself, you as a therapist, if you're my therapist, and the client. Should something go wrong, hmm. should you not disclose, for instance, if I'm pregnant and I'm like three months or my first, second trimester, I'm not supposed to have massages. And I don't disclose that I am pregnant. I come in for a massage and you have a miscarriage. Mm. And then you come back tomorrow and say, I had a miscarriage because you massaged me. We go back to the consultation card. That's why it's really important then to Then you say, but you didn't disclose it. We go, we check on the consultation card. If you did disclose that you are two months pregnant, you are three months pregnant, or you are really pregnant or you are not, there's people that say, I'm not pregnant, and, and they really are. So it's, that is meant to protect, to protect. us should mm. something happen. And that's why with consultation cards, you don't throw them away for about six months. Because you never know what might happen in that period. So you can come back three months later and say, I had a massage by you, and it was the last place I came to. to have a massage. And after I've been there, this and this and this happened to me. So we go back to our file. That's why we archive our consultation cards. We go back, we have a look, and then we compare what you're saying. That's if you've it. got a medical report, we compare that does this and this communicate? Does it, you know, go, to, go together? So, yeah, that's why we do that. It's really, really important for each and every client to fill in a consultation card before we can proceed with the treatment. So, tell me, have you ever woken up one day and be like, I'm finished, I'm done, I don't want this anymore? No. I eat, breathe, and leave. 
this business. I love it. What, it's, what's, it's, what brought her the love of Masai? What gave you the love? What made you love this so much? Why massaging people? Like this is something people? I've always loved from a very tender age, you understand? So when I wanted to go and study beauty, my parents were against it, especially my mother. My mother wanted me to do civil engineering. And I told her that, you know what, the last thing you'd want to do is spend money On and pay fees. And then every semester I come home with what? With failing, failing. With fail, fail, fail. <laughs> so rather let me do what I want, what I love, you know, because I've got the pain. I love this. So everything, I, I do it because I love it. That's mm. why every single day I try to improve something. That's mm. why with beauty, there's different trends coming out every day. Yeah. And I try to follow all those yeah. trends. Because I don't want us to be left behind with anything. I want us to, you know, to keep up with, to keep up to the to beauty trends that are coming out in everything. Because I love, I love this wholeheartedly. Ladies and gentlemen, you've heard it from the horse's mouth. We've been on a commercial break. Don't touch the tire. That's it. Welcome back. So, I'm going to ask you some questions. Okay. And you have five seconds to answer them. Okay. Are you ready to go? Let's Three, go. Three, two, one, go. Love or money? Love or money? Money. <laughs> okay. What is the name of your first boyfriend? Caleb. Caleb, okay. Yeah. Who is your celebrity crush? It has always been Neo, for some reason. Which Neo is that? Neo, Neo, love song, I'm so sick of yeah, 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 yeah. It has oh. always been Neo. Okay, okay, okay. Singing or dancing? Singing, singing. though I can't sing. Ah, ah, ah. And I can't sing. dance either. Yeah, but I love to, singing anyway. I've got a to, very horrible give us, Just give us a line. Of any song of, you can write song. Of what? Any song. Okay, can you a do the last question, right? I'm so sick of love songs. What is, how can we get hold of you if you want to come get a massage here? How can we get hold of you, your social media handle, your cell phone numbers? Instagram is Reformer Boutique Spa. Facebook, Reformer Boutique Spa. On Twitter, um, Reformer Boutique Spa. And, uh, you, or you can call us on 079-157-9704-013-004-0251. Our email address is um, info at Reformer Boutique Spa. .co.za or bookings at reformabotixpa.co.za <laughs> Ladies and gentlemen, <laughs> ladies and gentlemen, thank you so much for tuning in. Thank you so much for watching. Uh, stay tuned next week, same time, same station. Cheers. Bye-bye. So loud.